Democratic leaders in Congress sidetracked legislation to bail out the auto industry and demanded the big three develop a plan assuring the money would make them economically viable. Until they show us the plan, we cannot show them the money. Pelosi, along with Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, said Congress would vote on legislation in early December if General Motors, Ford and Chrysler produce an acceptable plan. The executives of the auto companies have not been able to convince the Congress or the American people that this government bailout will be its last. In light of the importance of this issue to all of us, we have decided the best way to proceed is to give the auto companies another opportunity to make their case, make their case to Congress and to the American people. The decision averted a likely defeat of legislation providing $25 billion in loans for the industry. Reed and Pelosi both said there was no Thank plan in circulation Mr. that could pass uh, both houses of Congress and win President George W. Bush's approval. And while the decision headed off the defeat of one bill, it did not necessarily translate into passage of a different one. Sandy Kozell, the Associated well, Press.